number one, Illinois, the only remaining undefeated team in college football, is undefeated no more. Nebraska bounces back after a loss last week to Arkansas, and they now are in control of the Big Ten West. Welcome back to the Illinois Fighting Illini Dynasty. We are here from Memorial Stadium as the number four Illinois Fighting Illini hosts the Purdue Boilermakers, a Big Ten West Division class, the battle for the Purdue Cannon, and it is also Senior Day here in Champaign. Seniors like Deuce Ban, Reggie Love, James Frenchie Jr., Jerzon Newton, Prince Green, and Daniel Ledwards, they will all suit up for their final home game here at Memorial Stadium, you can see the Big Ten West standings. Illinois taking a devastating and heartbreaking loss last week to Nebraska. Blake Moyer, Trey Tyson, and Josh Robinson will be visiting prospects. Two five-star prospects will be in the building today. So it'll be a big impression to be made this afternoon here on Senior Day. Purdue wins the toss to first the second half, and we are underway. Cornelius Taylor is going to take it out himself, and Taylor is gonna be brought down after a 22 yard return. Head coach David Deal in his fourth season at the helm here in Illinois, he will send off his fourth senior class here as the head man in Champaign this season. And the first play of the game, it'll be Reggie Love. He'll take it, he goes off tackle, six yards, and it's second down and four. Peoples is going to keep it himself here on an option, and Peoples, he's going to pitch it out to McRae here at the last second. McRae spins out of a tackle. He puts down a stiff arm. He fights for those extra yards, and he's got 15. Nicely done by McRae. Both of these Illini tailbacks have had good seasons, splitting a lot of work here up to this point. Patrick Bryant on the quick fire. Another first down for Illinois. This is a Purdue defense that isn't necessarily the most stout. Purdue is known for their offense. They have the number one passing offense in the entire country. But this defense has some holes. Peoples here, he lost it out to Love, and Love breaks free. Love is into the end zone. Touchdown, Illinois. I told you they had a porous defense. And how about this play from Peoples? Very patient in the pocket, and he lost it out to Love, and... Purdue simply couldn't catch up to him. And how about this? Another senior on senior day. It happens every year. They always show out. Boston College upsets FSU number two. The Seminoles go down. Man, what a wild season here it has been. Top teams going down every single week, and that's obviously good for Illinois. If they can win this game, they will jump up in the polls. goes without saying. Now Purdue in this offense. They will take the field. It's a Lamo who's... Running out of the Maryland eye formation. And a lot of running around there just to get no gain. It's second down and 10. This time it's going to be a play action, a bootleg. And Alemo fires it off to Bird. And Rodney Bird will get the first down here. I'm surprised to see Purdue coming out. The number one passing offense in the entire country going out of the Maryland eye formation. Throwing off Illinois. Murphy gets it. And Cornelius Taylor brings him down in the open field. It's third down and one now after he jumped ahead of play. So we'll see what they do here. It's going to be a toss out to Murphy and Illinois is there. Prince Green finishes the tackle. It's a five yard loss and the Illini defense gets a stop here to open up the game. How about that? Illinois shuts down this prolific offense but on the punt return it's muffed by Edwards and Purdue's going to recover it. It hit Edwards right in the head. He was not ready for it. It was kind of a low line drive punt. And Edwards got there at the last second. And that is a tough break for Illinois. This Purdue offense gets a second chance. And Lamo, this time he's going to keep it himself. No gain. And we're back to square run, except Purdue has it at the 15 yard line. Alamo dumps it off for Bird. That's his second reception. And it's third down and five. After a fortunate muff punt recovery, can Purdue score here? And they will. Chris Graves, a touchdown reception. Alema lost it all the way across the field. And Purdue capitalizes on the muff punt. 
Well, Matt Alemo is one of the best quarterbacks in the country. He has a quartet of some talented receivers to play with on this Purdue roster. Their skill position players are one of the best in the country. And this defense is going to have a tough time stopping this offense. I think we could say that at the very least. But now the Illini offense will take the field here. Third down and four after that handoff. We'll see if Illinois can move the chains. Peoples. He's looking to throw. He's backing up, taking his time. He fires, and that one's incomplete. He was looking for Patrick Bryant, and that one was off the mark. Good coverage from Purdue, and Illinois punts it away. Now Alemo and the Boilermakers back to work. He's going to drop back and fire to Malik Carr. 17 yards, and he's out of bounds. Malik Carr, one of the best receivers in the entire country. And they are across midfield. Alemo drops back again. This time he dumps it off to Murphy in the flats. And Prince Green has another nice tackle. That's two TFLs for Green early on in this game. And it's second down at 13. Alemo continuing to operate from under center. It's going to be a give to Murphy. And Murphy goes off tackle. He's got some room. Murphy going down the sideline. And it's Edwards. And Illinois finally brings him down at the very end. And just like that, Purdue is back inside the 15-yard line. Alemo fakes the handoff. He pitches it out to Murphy, and Cornelius Taylor brings him down. These Illinois defensive backs have made some good open field tackles so far to start this game. And they're going to need a lot of that as this Purdue offense has a ton of weapons, as I've been saying. Alemo, though, he keeps it himself again. It's third down and seven. This time, they're going to throw Alemo. Moving in the pocket to his right, and he's going to be tracked down and sacked in the backfield. Good coverage, and Trevon Riggins gets the sack, the first of the day for Illinois. And Purdue's going to have to settle for a field goal. That one's up, and it is good. Purdue takes the lead. A promising-looking drive that stalls out in the red zone. And now Peoples in the offense, back to work after a three and out. They're going to look to throw here on the first play. It's lofted downfield for Anderson. It's a first down, 30 yards, a dime from Ken Peoples. And just like that, Illinois across midfield. We jump ahead one play, second down and six. It's a give to Love, who cuts back to the right. Three yards. You wonder if it's four down territory here for Illinois. This is going to be a much more high scoring game than Illinois is used to. But that is not at all what you want if you're Illinois. Patrick Bryant on a failed screen. It's fourth down and six now. And as I just mentioned, Illinois is going to go for it here. Fourth down and six. Peoples. He's backing up. He fires a dart to the right, and he's got Breedlove. His feet were in bounds, and it is a conversion. Nicely done. New life for Illinois on this drive. Peoples dumps it off for Love in the flats, and Love makes a move. He's got 14. Reggie Love already having an impactful day. Three receptions for 60 yards and a touchdown. And that's through the air. First down and 10 now. Peoples looking to throw, but he's going to bail out to his left. He's got a lot of room ahead of him, and Peoples... Slides down at the last second. I thought he could have potentially fought for the end zone, but with the way Illinois has had bad luck with their quarterback health this year, I don't blame him for sliding down. First and goal now. Peoples backing up, and he's going to be sacked. Two steps forward and one step backwards. Peoples has got to get rid of the ball there, and Illinois get a little too cute on the goal line. They're backed up. They have now second and goal from the 12-yard line. Peoples will look to throw yet again here. And he's got a ton of room. He's going to take off, and Peoples makes a man miss, and he's into the end zone. That was disgusting, Ken Peoples. As I said, two steps forward, one step backwards. Peoples said, hey, you know what? I probably could have fought for the touchdown a couple plays ago, and I slid. This time I'm not sliding. I'm making a guy miss, and I'm getting to the end zone. And that's exactly what he did. Illinois retains the lead. Alemo here on the ensuing drive. He's brought down. Edwards again. Man, he's having a great day so far. Edwards, another senior. Third down and 11 now as we jump ahead of play. Alemo trying to set up a screen. He evades a tackle. He dumps it off for Whaley, and that play was blown up from the start. Illinois gets a three and out now in the Illini. Picking up some momentum here. They get the ball back with a four-point lead. 
Jumping ahead of play on this drive, it's second down and 12. Peoples will fire off here to Rodgers, and Kenny Rodgers gets his first reception today. Third down and four. Illinois with the ball right at the 49-yard line. We'll see what they drop here. Peoples is going to keep it himself on a veer, and he picks up the blocks. He's got the first down. Kenton Peoples, 28 yards on the ground to open up today. Four minutes to go left in the half. Peoples, he's going to dump it off to Breedlove over the middle. And Illinois has got another first down. This offense has not had much trouble moving the ball on this Purdue defense thus far. Peoples looking to throw again here. He's going to evade the rush, and he dumps it off to Love. And Love puts down a stiff arm. He's fighting for those extra yards. And nicely done by Love, picking up seven there. He's having a great day so far. Second down and three. He's got it again. First down, Illinois. Eli and I are trying to get into the end zone here and take a two-score lead. That is all very important in this type of game where both offenses can put up points. Peoples looking to throw here. He's going to loft into the end zone, looking for Bryant, and it's knocked down. Good play from Purdue to knock that one down at the last second. Peoples almost had him. Second down and 10 now. Throwing yet again, Peoples will fire over the middle to Bryant, and Bryant fighting. He lunges forward, he's got eight yards, it's third down and two. Peoples is gonna give it to Love, and Love, he's got a hole up the middle, and he's brought down just shy of the goal line. And Illinois has it at about the one and a half yard line. We'll see if Illinois can punch it in here. It's a play action. Peoples looking to pass. Nobody's open. He fires at the last second. It's knocked down by Harrison. What a play by Brad Harrison to knock that one down to the last second. And that option for the running back was not open. We'll see what Illinois does here. They're going to do a toss out to McCray, and he's going to be brought down in the backfield. Ryan Brantz with the tackle for loss. That's a huge play for Purdue. And the struggles on the goal line today continue for Illinois. Third down and goal. Peoples is going to roll out to his right. And Peoples stops the last second. He fires it off to McCray. And McCray couldn't get his momentum going towards the end zone. And Illinois is going to go for it here. Letting the clock bleed down. Peoples, he's going to keep it himself. And it's a turnover. They mark him short of the goal line. It looked to me like Peoples might have gotten in and they marked him short of the marker. And Illinois is going to challenge the spot here. From the naked eye, I thought Peoples might have gotten in and we'll see what the replay shows here. Can't really tell from that angle. And we'll see if we can get a good look here. This is going to be the best look right here. Peoples, his knee is down, and yup, that ball is not where it's supposed to be. Peoples has the ball out on the other side of where it should be. And the call is going to stand, and Purdue's going to have it at the half-yard line. A minute 16 to go. That's a tough break for Illinois. And Purdue working out of their own end zone here. Alamo fires it off for Carr, evading the rush. Nicely done to give themselves some breathing room. And we'll see what Purdue here, Purdue can do here. Murphy with the handoff, two yard loss. And if you're Purdue, you wanna consider maybe taking some timeouts here, that's what they do. They have the whole length of the field to goal virtually and just over a minute. Alamo here, he's gonna fire it off to the other sideline. He's got Graves, he makes a man miss and Graves got some blocking downfield. Coleman brings him down from his shoestrings at the last second. And just like that, Purdue with one minute to go on the dot. They have it at the 40. Alemo's gonna fire deep downfield, looking for Yassine, and he's got him. Abdurrahman Yassin, 46 yards, first down Purdue. And it's not just Malik Carr, Yassin, and these Boilermaker receivers. They got a lot of good players. It's Yassin again, he breaks the tackle. And the clock is going to continue to run, but Purdue will call a timeout. Alemo is 10 for 10 passing. He has not missed a single throw yet. Second down and nine. We'll see if Illinois can hold them off here. Alemo's going to keep it himself, and he takes a shot. 
That was Edwards with the big hit, and Illinois actually is the one calling timeout here. Illinois wants a chance to get the ball back with a little bit of time. Alemo looking to throw on third down. He's going to dump it off to McCarty, and McCarty's going to be met, and Purdue's going to be short. Illinois is out of timeouts, and they cannot stop the clock. And Purdue is wisely just going to let this bleed down here. This is a chip shot. Snap down, kick is up, and it is good. All things considered, I think if you're Illinois, you got to be happy to be going to the locker room with the lead. This Illinois defense bowing up in the red zone, holding, to, holding Purdue to field goals instead of touchdowns. But a frustrating end to that previous drive offensively for Illinois. They had the ball inside the one yard line and could not cash it in a goal line stand by Purdue and so far that's been the story of this game both teams both offenses moving the ball quite effectively but the defenses are doing a good job bowing up in the red zone and that one turnover from Illinois that's big that was a ball that was inches from being across the plane for a touchdown and Purdue's gonna get the ball here to open up the second half. So we'll see if Purdue can capitalize on a two for one opportunity here between the halftime. And Malik Carr will open it up. He's got another first down. Second down and 10 now as we jump ahead of play. Alemo's gonna fire over the middle. He's got Carr again and Carr somehow breaks free. Carr is gonna be wrapped up by Cornelius Taylor. And these Purdue receivers doing a good job in the open field. First down and 10 now. Bird set in motion, Alemo looking to throw, and he's got a man downfield, it's Yassin, it's a touchdown! That's what this offense can do. Abdurrahman Yassin takes the top off the defense. Prince Green was in coverage. And Yassin just blew right past him, that was a dime from Alemo right on the money. And there's a reason why these Boilermakers have the number one passing offense in the entire country. Purdue now is going to go for two to make it a seven-point game. Alemo drops back. He dumps it off for Bird, and Bird is going to be stopped. Nice play from Calvin Hart. So the deficit for Illinois remains at five, and Illinois is going to get the ball here. First possession of the second half. Taylor making some moves on this kickoff return. And Taylor, he's got room down the sideline. He's brought down right around midfield. So Cornelius Taylor gives Illinois with some good starting field position here to open up the second half. Peoples is going to give it to Love. And Love's got a hole up the middle. Love's got some room. One man to beat. And Love is going to take it to the house. Touchdown, Illinois. Purdue has a good offense, but so does Illinois. Illinois can go shot for shot, and that's exactly what they do. Reggie Love with a burst of speed right down the pipe, and Illinois has the lead back on one play. Now Illinois is going to go for two to make it a field goal game here. Frenchie into the backfield. They're going to give it to him on a handoff, and Frenchie's got room. Two-point try is good. Nicely done, Illinois. Now has the lead back, and it's a three-point lead. And we were talking about both defenses bowing up in the red zone in the first half, and both defenses give up touchdowns in the first mid of the second half here. So now Purdue with the ball back. We jump ahead of play. It's third down and six. We'll see if Illinois can get a three and out here. Bird set in motion. And Lamo, he's going to fire all the way to the right side of the field. It's McCarty. It's a first down. And Alemo with just some great touch on the ball. He's made some beautiful passes today. And Purdue here on second down and 10. This time Alemo, he's gonna be brought down in the backfield. That's Ryan Williams, the second TFL on the day. And it's third down and 14. Can the Illini defense hold here? Alemo rolling out to his right. He's gonna fire off for Carr and Carr breaks a tackle. He's got the first down. Malik Carr has caused some problems here for Illinois. It's 5 for 78, and that's a big conversion for Purdue. Now second down and 12. Illinois sending the blitz, and Alemo picks up a block. He fires it off for Whaley. It's another missed tackle, and Whaley, he's out of bounds, and another first down. 
Illinois doing a good job tackling in the open field in the first half, but now they are kind of struggling. It's a play action here, and Bird is going to break another tackle, and Bird sheds off a line eye defenders left and right. Touchdown, Purdue. It's a game of pinball right now. A nice looking play design from Purdue on the play action and Bird. Made those line eye defensive backs look silly. Breaking off two tackles there. And just like that, Purdue with the lead back. Now Taylor looking to make some more nice moves here on the kickoff return. Taylor up the sideline yet again. He's brought down into Purdue territory. Back and forth we go here at Memorial Stadium. Illinois gifted with some great field position yet again. Love, can he take it to the house two times in a row? Not quite, but he's got 14 yards over the middle. And Reggie Love having a fantastic day during his last home game here in Champaign. He's going to get it yet again here on second down. He makes a spin move, but it's only going to be a two-yard gain. It's third and eight now. Illinois is just inside field goal range here, but they are down by four points. Third down and eight here. Peoples from the gun. He's going to look to throw, and he's going to fire it over the middle. He's got Kenny Rogers. First down, Illinois. Ken Peoples having one of his best days passing thus far in his young career here as the quarterback. Bryant on the jet sweep. He's got nine yards. And Illinois moving the ball well, looking good on offense themselves. Love again, he's got the carry and Love going up to the goal line and he's gonna be just short. 104 yards on the ground for Reggie Love. That's not to mention the 60 plus he has through the air. Illinois going high formation here. McRae, he's gonna try to punch it in and he can't do it. We've seen Illinois get stood up at the goal line already in this game. And the struggles continue, Reg, or that's Ken Peoples rather. He keeps it on option and he's stuffed yet again. Illinois is just allergic to getting the ball across the goal line. Illinois is gonna spread Purdue out here. Peoples is gonna keep it himself and this time it works and Peoples has the touchdown. And that's a statement right there. Illinois finally getting the ball across the goal line. And Ken Peoples. A little skip in his step. It's now 29 to 26. A ton of scoring already in this third quarter alone. Murphy here on the toss. He's got some room down the left side of the field. Murphy, he's out of bounds near the 50. Just when you think Illinois can try to adjust for this Purdue passing attack, they flip it out to Murphy, and this rushing attack for Purdue is having success. Two back-to-back -back 15 plus yard runs for Tyreek Murphy on the ground. Alemo now dropping back. He dumps it off for Bird, and he's going to be met quickly by Darren Robinson. It's third down and six. Defensive stops have been few and far between in this game. Patrick Coleman on the blitz. He gets to Alemo. Seven yard loss, and the Illini finally bring him down. Nicely done by Patrick Coleman. And it's fourth and 13. We open up the fourth quarter, and sure enough, Purdue's gonna go for it here. They're gonna do a draw to Morris and Illinois is all over it. Of all the play calls right there, Purdue does a draw on fourth and 13. Unbelievable, man. This game has been something else. Illinois gets the ball back after that gift. And Ken Peoples is gonna keep it himself. That defensive stop was huge because now Illinois has an opportunity to make it a two score game. We are into the fourth quarter. Peoples on third and two. He's got a man on a slant and it's batted down the line of scrimmage. Illinois is forced to punt it away and they cannot capitalize on the turnover from Purdue. First and 10 now, Alemo sheds off a tackle and he's wrapped up by Calvin Hart. Purdue seemingly coming up with defensive stands when they need it the most in this game. Alemo facing another blitz, but he gets it out to Murphy. And Coleman will get him from behind. Murphy has been a problem here in the second half. And Alemo continues the tremendous efficiency in the passing game. He is 20 of 21, and he's now 21 of 22. Yassin lays out for that one. He was wide open. And Yassin's got 110 receiving yards. 
Illinois is lucky that he had to lay out for that one because if he caught that in stride, it might have been six. Alema will keep it himself here on first down, and it's second down and four. We'll see if Illinois can come up with a huge stop here yet again. He's got Murphy wide open underneath, and Murphy putting down a stiff arm. He's got those extra yards. Purdue with over 300 passing yards so far in this game. First down and 10, they're gonna look to throw again. And Alemo steps up, he's got McCarty over the middle. And they say he's just short, second down and inches. Purdue has it at the five yard line. Alemo under center, he's gonna back up and he's gonna loft it out of the back of the end zone. And it's incomplete, there haven't been many of those so far from him today. Third down and inches now here for Purdue. A field goal will tie, a touchdown will give him the lead back. He's gonna fire over the middle for Carr and Carr's into the end zone. Touchdown, Purdue. Malik Carr continues to devastate this Illini defense. Dylan Rosaic, the backup linebacker, was in on that play and he made a bad angle there. That allowed Carr to get in. So now Illinois is down in this game yet again. Cornelius Taylor, he's gonna have to break off another good return, and that's exactly what he's gonna do. Cornelius Taylor, he does a stutter step and he's brought down near the 40. So that certainly has been a problem today. Illinois has been starting with good field position. And now Peoples in the offense is gonna have to score yet again. Breedlove over the middle. First down, Illinois. I've been impressed with Peoples so far today. Illinois has been really pass happy, which they normally aren't, and Peoples has been delivering. He's gonna bail out to his left this time, and Peoples is going to wait for a man to get open, and he lost at the last second. Patrick Bryant lays out for it, and he couldn't haul it in. Second down and 10 now. Illinois sporting trips left. And Peoples is going to keep it on an option here. Peoples cuts back to the middle of the field, and he is tripped up. That's going to be five yards. Third down and five now for Illinois. Once again, it's about four-dime territory, this portion of the field. Peoples making adjustments at the line of scrimmage. He's going to back up here. He's got a clean pocket. He fires over the middle. He's got Bryant. Nicely done. Peoples to Bryant. Four receptions for him. And Illinois is in within field goal range. Love is going to get it. Love going to the right. He's got four yards. We're approaching three minutes to go here in this game. Peoples operating the offense very efficiently today. He's going to look to throw. He's got a man in his face. Peoples bailing out to his right. And he's going to get rid of it at the very last second. And it's third down and six now. If you're Illinois, do you settle for a field goal in this situation or do you play for the touchdown? They're down by four points. Just three minutes to go. Third down and six. Peoples will try to get the first down anyway, and that's exactly what they do. Anderson plows over a defender, but there's a flag. It's a holding on Illinois. That's Brandon Hall. And that's going to wipe out an Illinois first down. Deal is not happy about that call. And that's huge. Now it's third down and nine. We'll see how Illinois plays this. Five wide for the Illini. Frenchie in motion. And Peoples is going to bail out to his left. And Peoples waiting for a man to get open. He fires the last second and it's knocked away. He had a man there at the last second. Peoples just couldn't get it off quickly enough. And now it's fourth and nine. Illinois is going to go for it. This is a huge play right here. Play clock winding down. Peoples. He's got a clean pocket. He's backing up. He's going to fire at the last second. And it's incomplete. Turnover on downs. That was... Pretty much impeccable coverage from Purdue. There was nobody open on that play. And what a stand by this Purdue defense. Now, the offense will try to bleed the clock out here. First play, they're throwing the ball. It's Curtis Whaley. And Illinois does have, does have all three of their timeouts. But Purdue seems to be 
not really taking their time here. They're snapping the ball quickly. It's Whaley again on another pass, and he goes out of bounds. The clock will continue to run, but Purdue is not taking their time, and Illinois has not used their timeouts left. It's third down and four. Alemo hit as he throws. He's got Malik Carr. Unbelievable. Purdue coming up with big conversions when they need it. And now if you're Illinois, you really got to start calling your timeouts here. A minute 30 to go in this game. This time they're going to run the ball. It's Murphy, and Murphy making a man miss. He's got a hole. He's got five yards. And Illinois still is waiting to call their timeouts. Play clock bleeding down here. It's going to be a lame-o. He breaks a tackle, and a lame-o. He's going to be tripped up. It's a zero-yard gain. It's third down and five, and finally Illinois will burn their first timeout. So a first down here will end the game. Illinois has got to stop them. Alemo on a read option. He's got the first down. And Purdue is going to win this game. Alemo with the keeper. Illinois cannot stop the clock. And the Illini will drop back-to-back -back games here for the first time this season. In season two, Purdue spoiled the Illini senior day. The Illini lost that game 24-27. They ran up the score at the end. Last year, Illinois went in when Purdue was ranked number four and knocked them off on the road. And now this time, Purdue goes on the road to face Illinois, who's ranked number four, and they knocked them off. The second time in this dynasty, Purdue spoils a senior day. And this is another tough loss for Illinois. They played pretty well today, all things considered. But this Purdue offense got it done. The defense came up with a huge stop there at the end of the fourth quarter. And after the 8-0 start and a number one ranking this season, Illinois has now come falling back down to earth. They dropped their second in a row. That's a tough way to end senior day here. Ken Peoples played a really good game in my opinion. He's not the reason why Illinois lost this game. He played his best game as a passer in my opinion to date. Lamo, enough said about him. Four touchdown passes, I mean. This Purdue offense is really good. Tyreek Murphy, Purdue not necessarily known for their ground attack, but he had a good game as well. Reggie Love, he was the MVP of this game for Illinois if there ever was one to give out. Reggie Love with a touchdown on the ground, one in the air. He had over... He had nearly 200 all-purpose yards. He had a fantastic day. This Illinois passing attack was there. But you see here, Malik Carr, 7 for 97 and a touchdown. Abdul Rahman Yassin, 4 for 110 and a touchdown. Bird had a touchdown as well. Man, Alemo was just firing darts all over the field today. And these receivers are some of the best in the country. And it was a tough task for this Illinois defense. Nothing much to show there on the stat sheet. You see the game stats here. Purdue with nearly 400 yards passing. We do not see teams do that to this Illini defense very often. And it was a tough loss here for Illinois. Purdue really played their A game offensively. You can see Alemo 369 yards, four touchdowns. That's a fantastic day. Peoples and Patrick Coleman defensively for Illinois. But on the recruiting trail, Illinois got some commits. Eric Wade, he commits. That's a big one. And then... Joe Thompson, James Johnson, and Shane Oliver. A bunch of cornerbacks committed today for Illinois. So that was very good to see. Eric Wade here will start off. He was a three-star out of Texas. He's a going to be a good commit there. Joe Thompson, we have not been able to scout him. Him and James Johnson both are considered death pieces. And look at that, man coverage 80, zone coverage 80. So good to see Joe Thompson get a boost to the overall. And now James Johnson, likewise, he's out of Michigan a depth piece in the secondary and we'll see what we got with him his overall drops three points but still though not the end of the world these guys will be death pieces for sure potentially will move to safety at some time in their career and then lastly Shane Oliver at quarterback he commits we scout him and that 80 throw power that's what I'm excited for I'm gonna have to work on that accuracy but Shane Oliver is a guy that could be developed and potentially play later on in his career but Illinois needs that depth at quarterback and now looking at the coaches poll here Illinois drops all the way down to number nine picking up their second loss on the year and honestly it's still pretty good in my opinion that Illinois is still inside the top 10 a lot of top teams have lost there are no more undefeated teams 
of course and didn't really show it during the game but nebraska defeated wisconsin and by virtue of illinois losing today nebraska officially clinches the big 10 west division and they will head to indianapolis to the big 10 championship game so illinois big 10 championship hopes are officially done here in season four and likewise michigan they clinched the big 10 east this week as well it was not really that close this was an opponent that we played and beat early on in the season and it'll be Michigan versus Nebraska for the Big Ten Championship game this year. It's disappointing Illinois could not get back there, but they play a very competitive schedule this Big Ten Conference. The West Division in particular is very tough. It is very difficult to get to Indianapolis. What Illinois was able to do last year, that is hard to do. And unfortunately, they weren't able to get back there this year, but they are still ranked number nine. Still in New Year's Six Bowl to play for. And now we got to go the rest of the way, next two games at Wisconsin and at Northwestern to finish off the regular season. And Wisconsin is a team that has been very good in this dynasty, but they are sort of having a down year. No more Graham Mertz. He cannot terrorize us anymore. And this is a team that has dropped some games. They lost early on in the year to Houston in the non-conference. They beat Ohio State, Penn State, but then they lost to Indiana beat Iowa Northwestern but then they've dropped their last two to Minnesota and then of course on the road at Nebraska they were competitive against Nebraska but this is a Wisconsin team that is certainly down this year and they still have some good players in the trenches along the lines of scrimmage this is the strength of this team always has been you can see here a lot of their best players are along the defensive and offensive lines so It'll be a good test here. It's always a good matchup when these two teams play. Illinois picked up their first win in this series against the Badgers last year. And as far as their quarterback, as I mentioned, no more Graham Mertz. It'll be Josh Wright. He is playing for the injured Bradley, and he's done a serviceable job as the backup, but he's not necessarily as prolific as Mertz was during his time there in Madison. Again, it's on the road. Wisconsin is an is a unranked team, but... It is certainly a game that Illinois can drop. This Wisconsin team is always competitive. They are competitive against good teams, so perhaps a little bit better than what their record shows. Illinois will be a three and a half point favorite in this game, and we'll see how it goes. We'll see if Illinois can bounce back here. They have now officially lost out on their Big Ten championship goal for this season, and we'll see what kind of coaching job Coach Deal can do for this team in practice this week as... We look to bounce back on the road against Wisconsin. Let me know what you guys' thoughts were. This was a tough loss here to Purdue, but Purdue played a great game today. And they have some good skill position players, and that's what showed. So let me know what you guys think in the comments, and I will see you all next week as we head to Madison. Have a great day.